Good morning, day 88 of Nothing Better to Do, or Burning Time with Bible Academy, whatever you like. Uh, smoking a diesel. It was given to me from Bob and Barry, Virgil Evans Tobacconist, where the city smokes. Burning Time with Bible Academy. My friend is back in his office uploading, and he uploaded like seven, up to 79. Every day at 10 o'clock, a new video will appear. So, my next week we'll have all 88 up. It'll be all good. Obviously, I'm going golfing in a master's cup. Oh no, I don't have my master's cup. Oh my god. Yeah, it's in the wash. I'll live. Um, so, subscribe. Subscribe to YouTube. Burn Time Bob Licata. Bing. He's free. Well. Today's a special day, June 18th, two years ago today, my friend Tony Calicchia left this earth. Think about him every day. Uh, I don't know why. I think about him every day, I laugh. Because he was a funny guy, he was a smart guy, he was a generous guy, he was a good friend, loyal, trustworthy, little nuts. His favorite word was fuck. He was a very smart guy. I mean, this guy could have been anything he wanted. Anything. But he knew how to make money. And, I mean, even when he told me he was sick and he kept me in his secrecy, and you know, it was really hard because some close friends would ask me, and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't betray his trust. So I would just say, I see I have some issues, you know, like I couldn't betray his trust. So you know, there's so many good memories though. Good memories. Funny memories. You know. New York City or the Yankee game. We'll go to Peter Luger's for dinner. Guy kept touching his phone. Tony was a bug about his phone. Guy kept, Tony kept telling the guy, don't touch my phone, don't touch my phone. The guy said, well, it's in the way, sir. I'd like to touch your phone. Uh, move it, just move it. He goes, don't touch my fucking phone. Oh, my God. I thought there was going to be a war. Now, you know, these New York... New Yorkers, you know, from New York City, a little different, you know. And then Tony asked the guy, how many ounces of steak... The guy goes, this big, about this big. I mean, it was bizarre, it was funny. Wherever city we went to, and we went to every city, I mean, different country, he had to try it. He had to find out who had the best pizza, and he had to try it. Then if he liked the pizza, he'd ask for the owner, and I'd have to let, sit there for a half hour to an hour, and I'm talking about pizza. But well, whatever. It is what it is. But we had great times. And we're at the Yankee game in Cleveland. I see John Bon Jovi walking. I say, hey, I want to say hello to John Bon Jovi. Right away. Fuck him. Because he was trying to buy the bills then. I was to say hello to the guy. He was, he was right there. I was, hey. So anyways, Tony goes, oh my God, we got to go back in the bar. I go, why? I can't find my phone. Phone. Your phone's at your ear. Yet the phone is his air. He it was on hold. Boy. He was all business. But like I said, even when he was dying, generous, he fed those workers in Roswell, fed them all pizzas. So hey, to my friend Tony Click, yeah. Seven days without pizza makes one week. This is for him. So I got a pizza joke. It's not that funny, but I'm going to tell it anyways. Pete, Pete Rose is doing this commercial for uh, for a, a pizza chain. And uh, Pete Rose says something like, this is the greatest pizza, isn't it? And the kid responds, you bet. 
Pete Rose gets mad and punches him in the face. Get it? Because he gambled. Bad joke. But anyways. You have a good day. See you tomorrow. Ciao.